Well, you can most certainly say I had a lot of fun playing Robocop Rogue City, which, to be quite honest, I wasn't sure if I wanted to look forward for this game or not because, well, although it looked good, I heard it was published by Nacon, which, at the time, they had a reputation for being accused by another company, which they previously had development with, of Frogwares with the whole Sinking City game. Which I'll probably get to at some point in the future. Which they accused him of so many different things, including selling the pirate version of the original game. And so I wasn't even sure if I wanted to look forward to it. But most recently, I actually found out that it was actually made by Taeon. The same people who went on to actually make Terminator Resistance, which I actually enjoyed. Which is something that the critics hate for some reason, which they gave that game a 4 out of 10s. But... 4 out of 10 would mean the game was unplayable, but it wasn't unplayable. I'll make a separate video talking about that game in the future. I actually beat both the main game and its DLC counterparts. So, let's talk about Robocop Rogue City for a minute. It's a first person shooter in which, of course, you play as Robocop. And, of course, it's another 80s movie, but... It just seems like Taeyeon understands 80s movies and they make them right. Just like the, they, just like the Terminator one, even though you're not playing as the Terminator, it's still in the Terminator universe. This one is indeed in the Robocop universe, but you play as Robocop. You can go around the city giving people tickets or warnings if you really want to for like vandalism or illegal parking. That's part of the whole thing when it comes to being a cop in the game. You're doing your job. You have plenty of choices in the game, you can be a good cop, bad cop, and just like the last game, each different character has their own different ending, so that your choice really impacts the game. So, at least there's some replay value to that one. So, just like Terminator Resistance, this one has RPG elements in which you can actually level yourself up, but this one, you choose which one you want to level up with your skill points. You could do your combat, you could do your armor, scanning, engineering, and play more. So you can do whatever you want as to like how you want to do everything. You could even level up your speech, making people trust you more. Or making, or maybe you, you just want the best option for your speeches. And the game will tell you which one would be like the best reply. So, let's get to the shooting part. You can go around and shoot some criminals. You have your pistol, which has infinite ammo, and you also have your chips, which means, like, you can go around in the chips. It's kind of similar as to how Terminator Resistance did it, but you use the chips to, like, upgrade your own stuff. So, meaning, your gun can have infinite ammo without even reloading, meaning you can use your gun like some sort of, like, mini, mini, mini gun or something, like... What I'm saying is that a gun can shoot like an assault rifle without even being one. You can also pick up other weapons like the shotgun, a micro SMG, an assault rifle, a grenade launcher, and a few other things. You can even grab people, throw them, and do whatever you want. Oh yeah, and you can, you can throw explosives too. Oh, and the bumper button, it's your melee button. I have no idea why, but you know what? It's there. You can punch people in the face. Like, if you want to punch people in the face as a Robocop, you can do that. All it takes is one punch, and they should be done. That really depends. But still, you get the point. Robocop cannot jump. He is slow. He's a robot. What do you expect? So if people are going to complain about that, deal with it. It's a robot. At least they're trying to be more authentic to the robot aesthetics. Because when does Robocop jump? There is no jumping, so good luck trying. But you can dodge, so that makes it up for it. You can also turn on your armor shield, so you can also do that too. And look, there's not going to be that much taking cover. I mean, you're, it's not like you're going to need it, but at some point you may need it. You do have like, like these health recoveries, which if you are at a certain level of your vitals, you can actually go up to a power thing and charge yourself, and that'll gain you more health. There's also these, these health recovery stuff, which you can go grab and pick them up. Now, 
depending on what level, you can carry up a certain amount of number. Like, you start from 3, but you can level up, you go 4, you go 5, you go 6, you name it. But if you keep leveling up, then these Fio stuff will give you even more additional health than it was before. But like I mentioned, there's plenty of choices. There's also side missions, which I should quickly mention. My only complaint about side missions is that I can never find as much. Well, I mean, I found a lot. Let's not, let's not get a little technical here. I did find a lot of side missions, but I don't know if I missed them if I could, if I even, like, knew. I mean, look, I knew I had to, like, do the whole protect the service thing, but the problem is I can never find the the ones I'm looking for, and then whenever I do, I'm not in a certain amount of level. Say I, I need to be a level 6 engineering or whatever, and I haven't even got to level 6 engineering yet, so I don't know how am I supposed to know that. Plus, they push that stuff in your face as soon as you're in the game. You need to be level 6 engineering. I'm like, I, how am I supposed to know if you, I can't get to that? I don't have enough e EXP or at least experience points for to do that, you know? But there are ways to gain experience. You can kill criminals, collect some crime, and depending on how, you, how well you did in these missions, your ranking could be A, could be B, could be anything. Depending on what rank you get, the certain amount of skill points you earn. So, the higher the rank is, the more skill points you gain. But again, the side mission thing, I could hardly... I mean, I got almost all of them. I don't know how I was supposed to know that there was another one when I couldn't even find... It's like, you, it's like you look everywhere and you, you, you probably like think you didn't miss anything. But somehow you did, which I have no idea how. But look, it's a fun game to play. For anyone that's a fan of the 80s or 90s or just Robocop in general or maybe never heard of it, this is your for first experience I should definitely say you guys should definitely play. But overall, with my little bit of issues I had with the game, I had fun playing it. It makes you feel like you're watching a movie of Robocop. Like... Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not making this up. You can also rescue a cat named Grumpy. Grumpy cat. I, I see what they did there. Well, yeah, you can rescue innocent people during some of your missions and whatever too. But yeah, depending on your endings too. There's like so much. I can't. Even, I can't even talk about how many endings there are, because it depends on your actions, and your actions towards other people. So if you want to be a good cop, you can. If you want to be a malfunctioning bad cop, you can. You can just do whatever you want. I really think you guys will have fun playing this game. But I would definitely say, like, wait for it to be on sale. For right now, there's also, like, this deluxe version you guys can get, too. Now, it said on the menu there was the, there was the main campaign. So something tells me we may be getting possible DLC in the future. So hopefully, if we do get additional content, that'd be cool. Now, this game did come out on the Xbox Series, PS5, and PC. Now, here's the thing, right? We were supposed to get a Switch release, but at the, at the last minute, as soon as it was coming out, it got cancelled. So, uh, I could have mentioned why, but I'm not going to sit here and say. But overall, I think you guys will enjoy this game. Sure, the gameplay may look dated, but I think you guys will like it.